If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys, and today I'm going to go over the best investments in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, if you don't know what the concept and best investments is, guys, they did introduce a power-up system last year into Madden, like a, a real power-up system with trading, Power of cards is their own separate card and like the whole the whole thing guys. So power of cards are pretty much like Madden stock Like essentially if you guys know what stocks are it's Madden stock So each card has a value based on the current demand and supply of the card, right? So there's 10 power of cards right now and people want a hundred of them. They're crazy expensive If there's a hundred power of cards and people really could care less for that guy. They're super cheap It's, it's supply and demand the whole time now power ups are super cool Kind of a money grab in a, in a very high key low key way but at the same time they are cool they do allow you to get the guy a little bit better although maybe they could just make the cards better to begin with but that's for another that's another conversation for another day but guys i do have a i compiled a little list here of guys who i think are going cheap enough that you should be picking up a few of because i do know when they do get cards again they will go for a pretty good price that you can resell and guys here's my best advice here just want to get this out now because last year I made a video like this, I gave you guys good advice, I told you how to handle it, and then I got comments. I, I gave you best investments, right, in September. I was getting comments in like January, like, should I sell them yet? You lost me coins. If you're if you waited till January to make your money back on these cards, that is the first problem. So we're gonna be working on that right now. So personally, guys, I can never be around all day to inform you guys of when they are ready. When when is the time? When have the eggs hatched, right? You got to be on top of them. I will, you can bring a horse to water. I will bring you to the water, but I can't make you guys swim. You have to be on top of what to sell them because I may be at dinner and news of a new McCaffrey drops. McCaffrey's went from 10K to 50K at power up. Make sure you go sell them. Use the companion app when it's available. Or I don't have access to you guys at all the time today. I can't just make a video going over like sell now. Like I won't be around probably for that exact moment. So I will use my community tab as much as possible. I will try to do all that, but let's, let's get into the video guys. Regardless, but guys, before we get into the video, Make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to my boys, I'm joining the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. We are 200 subs away from 23,000 subscribers. We were just at 21, guys. That's super awesome. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys are new. Come join the family. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Smash that like button. I greatly appreciate that. Now let's get to the first guy on the list. Now this guy is a guy that always, always gets a great, great card. And he's always like, he's always super accurate. He's always fast. He always can do a little bit of everything. Everyone loves a good Russell Wilson. Dangerous. Everyone loves him. 4,500 coins. So let's do the math here. Let's break out the old calculator for a second. Now here's the thing. They go for 4,500. So let's say you buy... Let's go with... Let's see how much they go up to. Okay, let's say you buy 10 for 5,000. Because if you buy all 10, that's how much it's going to cost you. Let's say you stay at 10, but you buy, you keep getting them around 4,900. 4,900 times 10 is 49,000, of course. So 49,000 coins it costs you. But you bought 10 of them. Now, a new Russell Wilson signature series comes out, or a new Russell Wilson Halloween card comes out, and now his power up is like 15K. So you bought 10, so 15K is 150K. If you buy sell them 15K each. So 150K, and now you bought them for 50. So you subtract 50K from 150K, and plus reduction and everything. So you end up with about a, a profit of about 80K to 100K, depending on the reduction size and everything. So you made about 100K on those. That is how simple that math works with these cards. Now, how is it going to work, guys? When do you sell? Like I just said. He's going to be 4K for a while. But he's going to get a Halloween card. He's going to get a Mud Heroes card. And when he does go, when, when you hear news, like, don't even just wait for him to come out in the game. If they t be following me on Twitter, like, if I, if I, if you guys see that they tweeted out that there's a Russell Wilson coming out, if you go check the auction block, his power-up's going to be up in price. I mean, you sell then. Because the next day when the cards come out, people are already ready for it. People know on Twitter now. People are so well-informed. In my opinion, you sell when the news breaks. Don't wait till the next day. Like I did that for Halloween one time and it just didn't work out. The next day, nothing really went for the same price. So I always recommend you guys go ahead and make sure you know what's going on on Twitter and sell when there's hype. Next on the list is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers seems like a great bet because Aaron Rodgers, is a, first off, he's a fan favorite of many people. People just love a good Aaron Rodgers card in Madden. Not to mention, while he may be slightly not as great as he is in real life anymore, he still has one of the fastest releases in Madden and that is one of the reasons why people just love this card. People believe he's super glitchy Madden. He's gonna get another card. He's gonna get a Mud Heroes card. He's gonna get some kind of card. And when he does, you're gonna want him. And people are gonna want him because that's gonna be the new meta. Oh, Aaron Rodgers gets Dash and Deadeye, and he's he has the fastest gunslinging animation again. He's going to go maybe like to 9k. Even if it's like, guys, remember, even if it goes up to like 9k, 
assume the massive it only goes up to like 9k which is still a decent amount let's say you buy 10 of them for 3k again 10 for 3k that's 30k you buy you sell them for 90 that's 90k subtract 60k take away reduction you made about 52,000 coins like that just it's that simple guys but again you guys understand the math i'm not gonna be going over the math every time i should go over the players next on the list this guy what i like about him is that you also want cards of potential right let's say like a guy like uh love you bell love you bell may do good in real life you may really like love you bell he may get a great card will his power be expensive no because he's not good for madden so even though people like him there's gonna be no demand for him you want a card that's gonna have demand so roquan smith is next to my list he's super cheap you can buy him for very cheap right now and roquan smith is a fast middle linebacker everyone loves a good fast middle linebacker the next roquan smith card will probably be one of the better user cards as well as people love bears theme teams that's one of the more popular theme teams as well because they always lose a lot of bears players and a lot of uh, hall of fame bears like urlacher uh dick which we haven't gotten in a little bit but you guys get the point point being a kyle fuller we get Khalil mac those are modern day but point is here roquan smith is a great user card he's going to be super fast which as long as he's a fast linebacker there will be a demand for him which leads me on to my next point for the next guy speaking of kyle fuller uh this guy right here is a guy that always has a like, crazy expensive power because he usually has a card early in the year he has not gotten one yet guys marshall Lattimore is always one of the fastest men cornerbacks i promise you when marshall Lattimore gets a card power up is gonna go up to about 10k because his, his 70 overall has an 80 speed if he gets like an 88 overall or like even like an 88 89 90 overall cornerback for halloween his power up is gonna be 10 to 30k easy i'm telling you like this is the kind of money you can make if he goes up to like 25k let's say you buy you buy 10 of them at th 4 000 we'll go with so that's 40k and you sell them all for 30k so you have uh, 10 of them and you t sell that by 30,000, which is 300,000 coins and it only costs you 40k to get them so you just made a profit of 260 take away reduction you're probably looking at like 230,000 coins and made if you do all of these guys all at the same time you're looking pretty rich about this time and the thing is like again marshall Lattimore is so it's been proven it's been proven year after year every time marshall Lattimore gets a card his power up skyrockets because he's always super fast and he can play in the man and we have a man meta right now now this is a guy that i think is like a sleeper pick a lot of people don't know i mean or, or they don't think that jair alexander is like elite jair alexander is like he's, he's elite and he's gonna have a great year he's been having great years he's a part of the reason why the packers defense has stepped up the way it has i actually saw him in person last year against the giants and i he did he see those gloves he's wearing right there See that glove he's wearing right there? He actually handed that to me. Let me, let me show you guys real quick. See the glove right there? That's the same one he's wearing. These were green, just slightly different, but these are the exact glove he's wearing right now. It was super cool. He handed it directly to me as we walked up to walked up the bleachers after they beat my Giants down, but I wasn't going to pass that up. Devontae Adams also handed me something, and so did, I think, Tremont Williams, I believe. But it was super awesome, guys. Super fun experience. But moving on back to the video here. Uh, Jair Alexander, going to be great in the real life. Going to have great cards, and he's super fast, and he fits the meta again. He's going to have good man, good zone good press he's gonna be one of the best cornerbacks so when he does get a card again people are gonna really want him next guys this guy was a guy last year that after his first card came out he was super op he plays really well in madden people really like him and he currently has a high elite so you know his next card will be great dalvin cook now he's a bit more expensive i think the first dalvin cook card could be really good dalvin cook has an 84 speed in his base lead i think his next card could easily have like an 88 to 89 speed he'd be like in work done territory any play he has really big performances every week so he could easily have another one of those first team of the week cards that could easily be right there for work done and Barry Sanders is one of the best running backs. And if that is the case, guys, he will go up to like 25 to 30k, maybe even more. Because if he's it depends on the speed. He gets an 89 speed on powered up or an 88 speed on powered up. He can get to 89 or 90. His power could go for like 40, 50k. It really just depends. But I do really like Dalvin Cook as a player. And I really especially like him as a power up. Now, not you, Damon Williams. You're you opted out. My favorite guy here is going to be Mahomes. Mahomes just seems like a great value. 4K, guys. Let's just say, like, if you buy all these cards right here, right? You could buy, like, 20 of them at the, at the 4K price value. If you buy all those guys, he could easily, easily get another card. So what card could he get? He can get a most feared card. Because Mahomes got to be most feared at this point. He can get a most feared. He can get a Muddy Ears. He can get a lot of cards. But the next Mahomes card is going to do one of two things, right? Here's what people don't seem to realize how big thresholds are. People don't always focus on them. But you have to realize when a card is close to getting the threshold, you know that their next card is going to be super expensive. So let me show you guys the stats on Mahomes. Mahomes right now is just short of the short accuracy threshold, powered up, just short of the medium accuracy threshold, and, just, and he's going to be he's not going to hit deep accuracy on this card, regardless. So his next card will get deep accuracy threshold because the next card should have like an 87 do, uh, deep accuracy plus powered up plus go deep. So he's going to hit the threshold, which is going to make him a great deep passer. 
He's going to hit the medium accuracy threshold and the short accuracy threshold and the throw power threshold. He's going to be above 90 for everything. His throw to pressure, his throw to the run, and his play action. Everything's going to hit 90. And his speed actually will come closer to like a 76, 77. So on top of being a threshold passer, which puts him in like that Dan Marino range to make him one of the greatest passers of Madden, he's also going to be mobile, which is going to make him the only quarterback in the game to have Dan Marino throwing stats while also being mobile. And that is exactly when all the competitive players, no joke, like the Madden competitive players, the uh, top 100 guys all realize, hold up, maybe I don't need Lamar to be super crazy. I just need a guy who can run, but also put dots and do cover three beaters and cover two beaters. This guy is the guy that can make all those beaters happen because of his throw power and his ability to put the ball in the money, but he can also run. No other quarterback in the game can do that. He's going to be super expensive, guys, but it's better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Again, disclaimer, could you lose coins on some of these? It's possible. But I gave you the cheap, I gave you cheap ones. So it's very hard to lose coins on cheap ones. Is it possible they don't go up? It's possible if they don't get a card or they don't get a good card. But I think for the most part, I gave you some pretty safe bets. Maybe, will you have to hold them maybe for a month? Possibly. Mahomes might not come out for another month. It's possible, but that's what we want to do it now. Because as we get closer, people are expecting it. The price goes up. The more you wait, the more you gain. And guys, remember, when to sell them, as soon as you hear, if you get a text from your friend, Patrick Mahomes coming out tomorrow, go on the block, check him out. He's probably going for 25K. Make sure to sell them off. Guys, about it. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on to boys from join the family. Let's get to 23k as quickly as possible. We have 200 more subs to go. Be the last 200 subs in the 23k gang. Comment down below, let me know which one you picked up. Guys, that's about it for the video. If you need coins to pick up cards, and you're short on coins, go down below to mudreserve.com. Use code POOL, 15% off your order. I'm out. Peace.